What's up, KP Nation? It's your girl, The Rooker Shay, and I'm back with another video. As y'all can see, since y'all know what my kitchen look like, y'all already know I'm not in my kitchen, okay? So this will be like the first episode of many to come of me cooking in somebody else's kitchen. And it's Melissa's birthday today, so she want me to slave for her, so. And it's giving very much we in the trap because we got cooking over here. We got um, the beauty salon over there and we got daycare upstairs. So y'all, we finna we finna do the best that we can. I ain't talking about your kid, I'm just saying. He loud though, we ain't gonna talk about it though. So, today you guys, we will be making a shrimp and, well, it's supposed to be crawfish, but we're substituting that with crab meat. So we're doing a shrimp and crab meat pasta. If you know, you know, and if you don't, you're about to know, okay? So, I already got my pasta water boiling, and I got some salt in there. We just say no salt, but we're not gonna talk about the old people in the room, but they probably, probably, this probably, probably what they need, so. You know what I mean? This is cool, too, it'll work. You know, as long as you taste the flavor, that's all that matters. So I did salt it, but since this really a substitute, just add, just add a lot more, okay? So, what we're gonna do with our pan is we're about to put some butter in the pan, a little garlic, and we're gonna cook down our veggies. For the veggies, I have onion, bell pepper, and red bell pepper, and then I also got some tomatoes. Tomatoes, now look, if you know, you know. Tomatoes just go in seafood pasta. If you don't know what I said earlier, you about to know. So, let me go ahead and prepare that. I'll be right back. Well, I said I was gonna do a vlog style, meaning everybody in the room can interact in the video. Okay, y'all, so like I said before, you just gotta ignore everything going on, okay? Because just focus on me and the stove. That's all that matters. So, now that our pasta water is hot, you can go ahead and drop your pasta. For those who don't wait till the water is hot, it's still gonna cook, but it's just gonna take longer if the water isn't hot, so wait till the water is hot. Oh, uh, these are penne noodles. Um, penne, not penny, not it's penne, okay? And I'm not actually from Italy, so I don't know if that's the correct way, but that's the way I've been saying it my whole life. So. We're just gonna go with it. And then you see I got my vegetables cooking down, so we're gonna let these cook down for a moment and, you know, char and grill and all that good stuff, saute, you know, the technical term, okay? And then we're gonna add in our seafood, so we'll be back. funniest thing um so i am self-taught and like i had to learn okay so you can char your uh, vegetables as much as you want to i like mine to me it's not charred unless it got a little black on it you know like barbecue beef. if it ain't got a little black on it it ain't cooked enough okay that's my personal opinion because i do not like crunchy vegetables and i'm gonna say this because i know a lot of people that put crunchy vegetables in their pasta that's nasty don't do that no more so we're gonna go ahead and dump our shrimp in. And once you dump your shrimp in, you can start seasoning. Um, you cannot make seafood without Obey. I don't, you know, if you did not know that, I'm gonna just tell you. And no, I'm not from up north, I just know that you cannot make seafood without Obey. So we're gonna go on ahead, 
can put as much as you want, you know, until your ancestors tell you not to. My ancestors are probably different from yours. My ancestors were fat. If y'all didn't know, they were fat. So therefore, we season differently, okay? So, go ahead and put some seasoning salt in there. Lori's, you know, if you're black, you should know. If you're not, invest in that, okay? And then we gotta put complete. I put this in everything because, it, what does it say? Complete, meaning your meal won't be complete without it. So, I like to just season lightly before I add the rest because you don't know how much you're gonna need, how much you're not gonna need. So we're gonna go ahead and cook the shrimp. And once the shrimp are cooked, then we're gonna add our crab meat and then we're gonna start working on our sauce, okay? And we're gonna season the sauce too. That's why I said don't do too much. Big bags, don't do too much. We'll be back. Okay, so we got our lump blend wild caught hand picked crab meat, which I feel like the lumpier the better. Okay, so I'm gonna just say I broke this. We're not gonna talk about it. We're just gonna use our man strength and pull it open. So you just gonna dump that on top because it do have to steam to break apart. And you're gonna just let this cook down. You're gonna have to move it around a little bit. It'll break. It'll break. Give it time. Play it. Fuck up. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna break, okay? We'll be back when this is broken and we're gonna act like this didn't happen. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Born and raised. I am self-taught when it comes to cooking though. I um I learned because I basically found that I was diabetic years ago and I couldn't work. So y'all, I just dropped the pasta in here because it's done. And look, our crab meat has cooked down. It's almost done to where it is completely cooked down. So we're about to use this pot to make our sauce. So for the sauce we have half and half, which you always need that to make a sauce. But if you want to cheat the system a little bit, you can mix it with actual Alfredo sauce. You know, it just, it just brings it together for the people who don't know how to bring it together. I actually do, but today we're on a time frame, so we're gonna get it done the best way we can. So, to start, we're just gonna go ahead and take our half and half. And we're gonna dump it in the pot. I don't think I wanna use this whole thing because we don't really need that much. But then I, want, I like my pasta extra wet, so we're just gonna go with half for now. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go with half. Sound like I use more than half, but you know, like three, three fourths, okay? We're gonna say three fourths. Now, you definitely need some Monterey Jack cheese and some cheddar cheese. The two together will give you the best Alfredo sauce ever. If you don't know, now you know, okay? So, I don't know how black people measure cheese, but I know I don't measure cheese. Um, I feel like the cheesier the better because, um, if ain't no cheese in it, then what it's gonna taste like? Milk? Ew. So we're gonna go ahead, jump like half. Jump like half. Thank you. You like cheese? Here, hold this. Just, just hold it. Just go over there, hold the cheese. Don't let nobody touch the cheese, okay? Thank you. Then we got the Monterey Jack cheese. We're just gonna put about half of this in here as well. Okay, so. Then you could dump your Alfredo sauces in there and then we're gonna season it. We'll be right back. 
Wait, what? I cannot convince you that. I'm like, I really don't understand baby talk for real. So what you said, tell me like you want to cook. What you want to cook? Did you ever find that cookie you lost? You ever find that cookie? Then how you gonna cook if you can you losing cookies? You see, I don't even know what to say. Look, y'all, I don't really speak baby gibberish. I'm still in the process of learning, but my eggs might be a little cracked. So I don't know if I ever learn for real. But you know, shout out to moms out there. You gonna have a baby for me? Oh damn. Okay. Well, well. Okay, y'all. So now that we have our crab meat and our shrimp mixture, which is all cooked up. You can actually take this and just dump it right on the pasta. Go ahead and dump that. Okay. And we really can just mix this in. Well, don't mix it, fold it. Fold it is better, because you don't want it to go flying everywhere. You're just gonna fold that on in while we move on to preparing our sauce, okay? So. We're gonna dump the Alfredo in there. And you're gonna season it with the same thing you used to season your pasta with. So we're gonna use some complete. We're gonna lose some obey. Say as much as you like, you know, that's up to y'all. We're gonna use some Lari seasoning salt. Now I feel like the Alfredo is the best part of the dish, so it has to be really seasoning. We're gonna use a hint of Italian seasoning because it's, it's pasta. I mean, I don't know what to tell you about that. We're gonna use some ground pepper. Dang, did it stop grounding? Oh, okay, there it go. And then you're gonna use some salt substitute, you know? Like I said, be mindful of the old people. Okay, so, we're gonna give this a little mix. Make sure everything is melted. So you want all your cheese to melt. I'm gonna get everything melted, and I'll be back when it's time to pour it. Okay, y'all, so this is how you want the sauce to look. You want the cheese to be all blended in. It doesn't matter if you still can see pieces because when you mix it, the heat gonna finish melting it down. For the most part, this is fully incorporated. Okay, so we're gonna take this straight on over to this pasta. And we just gonna pour it on on there. I'm gonna say, hold on. Now, if you got to pour half and then come back, that's because, you know, you want to make sure it's all mixed in. So you can just fold it. The best way to make sure it doesn't overflow is to find a hole. So I usually just push some to the side and then it's going to fall into that area. It's a process, okay? It definitely take a minute. Now, you could just mix this, but then you risk breaking your noodles. You you know, you just risk, take too many risks. It's gonna spill everywhere. You don't wanna waste your sauce, because what? We just put all this cheese and goodness and our time into it. We don't wanna do that. So now that that's mostly incorporated, we're gonna add the rest of our sauce. No sauce left behind. Okay, we're gonna sit this right here. And we're just gonna go ahead and finish folding this in. Okay. 
the fuck I've been saying. You gotta clean me this look. Now, if you want to put this in the oven, you can. Now, if you're a person you just like your pasta runny, you can leave it like this. It's completely up to you what you do from here. Um, sometimes I like to put it in the oven, but I think today I'm going to give it runny. It's really up to Melissa because this is her birthday pan. So, I'm going to let her pick. And then you go ahead and you dress it up a little bit. You can put a little bit more obey on the top. It's just to give it more color. Make it look, you know, delicioso. And then, you know, like I said, we gotta wait and see if she wants it in the oven. But truthfully, this looks busting. I will pick it up, but it's heavy. I'm not gonna do that because then it's gonna hit the floor. Um, I don't wanna go to that heartbreak again. So, um. Look pretty good knowing I ain't got my own pot. You know, when you can cook, you should be able to cook anywhere. Cause you know that's why I won't be here. 